Hey, what's good guys? Keaton here. So I got one of the most illegal iPhone cases pretty much ever. It's basically brass knuckles meets your iPhone. So drop a like on this video if you guys want another one like this because I've got a few other cases I want to show you. And yeah, let's check it out. So this right here is the brass knuckles iPhone case. It goes for 18 bucks, links below. And honestly guys, the reason why I picked this up is I'm always forgetting to bring my brass knuckles when I go out on the street. It's just, it's what's happening. It's 2016, there are too many distractions in my life. Sometimes I remember to bring my phone but leave my knuckles at home. Sometimes I bring my knuckles but forget my phone. They've heard my complaints, they've made it all in one, and I'm ready to fight. So what you get inside the tin, since it's not actually a box, you get a free screen protector, always nice and appreciated. You get a microfiber cloth, um, maybe to clean up the mess after you're done knocking out them thugs on the street. You get this back plate, weird back plate kind of thing here, and then two screws and a screwdriver. Just a side note, if you ever need a screwdriver for your iPhone case, you know it's pretty serious. Installation is pretty different. Uh, I'm still not over the fact that you need to use a screwdriver for your iPhone case, but this is a unique case, so unique measures must be taken. So all you have to do to install this is take your iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, you plop it down, make sure the volume buttons line up with this wide cutout here, and then you take this uh, back plate, this weird looking back plate, and when I first saw this back plate, I was like, nah, I ain't using this. I ain't using this, I'm a thug. But when you are, you know, holding your phone and you know, popping people out on the street, your phone can actually fall out if you don't install the back plate. So it's good, they got you covered. And then pretty much you just take these screws here. So weird having to screw an iPhone case in. So many little parts. Take these screws here, line it up, and then you just screw them in. Jeez, this is... Definitely a project because I have never screwed together my iPhone case, but hey, there's a first for everything. The overall feel of the case is surprisingly really good. The added metal just kind of gives it a nice weight. I really like these knuckle cutouts here. Just your phone's not going anywhere. You're not gonna drop it. The iPhone is pretty slippery, so it's kind of one of those anti-slip mechanisms. The only downside is the knuckles are on the right side of the phone. So if you normally hold your phone with your right hand, you're gonna have to use your left. But other than that, it's pretty solid. Oh, and one other thing that I really like is how the case comes above the iPhone. So if you drop it, you're gonna get a little bit of protection. It's not gonna save you a ton, but you're gonna be fighting thugs with this case. So my original plan for this video was to just show you one of my fighting clips uh, where I'm using this phone, but I accidentally lost that clip so we're gonna be using this Apple just to see how effective the brass knuckles case really is. So here we go. No holding back, full force. Bite me. Look at that, that is a nasty blow. If, if that was you in real life, that's definitely a broken bone. Definitely a broken bone. I'm going ham, look at this. Look at how much damage this is caught. Oh my, wow, I am a mess. But on the flip side, the case does work, it does work. Take that, take that. So as you can see, repeated blows with this case, you're definitely gonna be doing some damage. Actually, like, you will actually be doing damage. So for 18 bucks, this case is totally worth it. Just look at Mr. Apple right here. Not really enjoying life, but yeah, for $18, I highly recommend it. But yeah, if you do pick this up, please don't fly with this or take this to school. I really don't want you guys to get arrested for what I think is the coolest case pretty much ever. Seriously, I will never get jumped on the street ever again. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and want another episode like this, drop a like rating on this video and go ahead and get subscribed so you don't miss that. This next one is twice as cool as this one. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. My original plan for this video was to just go out on the street and pop someone because, well, I am a thug.